Want to increase your traffic on Instagram? Want to gain more followers and grow your account? Well, today I'm sharing five steps to write the perfect Instagram bio that actually converts. about five steps to write the perfect Instagram bio that's going to start converting and growing your Instagram profile. So let's get started. The first thing I want to share with you is that you need to keep it simple or as one of my professors in college used to say, he wanted us to always think of the KISS method when we do anything. And the KISS method is just keep it simple stupid. Sounds kind of savage, but it makes sense. You've got to keep everything super simple in your Instagram bio. And I'm going to share with you again, like I said, five steps that you need to do to write the perfect bio. Make sure that you go into the description below and you check out the blog post that is associated with this video because it actually gives you a little bit more detail and it gets down to the nitty gritty of how to format every single one of those sentences in five steps. All right, so number one is what. What you do. This is so important when writing your Instagram bio. When people land on your bio or on your profile, they wanna know what you do. What is it that you do? And you've gotta be able to describe it in, the, in terms of that you would use with a five-year-old. So dumb it down. If you are a marketer, who are you helping? What do you do? So what are you doing? So if you look in this one here, for instance, is mine. And I tell you that I help to, I help you develop a personal brand. And for anyone who's looking to develop a personal brand, this is so important. Now, take a look at this one right here. This one t gives me the old school way of doing an Instagram bio. This one right here talks about like my age, my location, you know, just old school uh, ASL, age, sex, location, right? Um, back in the day, how we used to communicate on social media. Well, we don't do that anymore. We don't communicate like this anymore because we are a lot more personal on social media. And if you want someone to actually click on the follow in the Instagram and start following your account, you they need to know what you do on Instagram. Also, why? Step number two is why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why is precedes the what? So in a quick sentence, tell me exactly what you do and why you do it. This is so important because your why is their benefit. Their benefit of why they are following your account. So it's so important to tell people what you do, why you do it, so that people going onto your account find out and figure out whether you're the kind of person that they want to add to their feed. And that's a benefit, the value that you're giving to people is your why. All right, number three is who. I'm sure you've already heard this over and over again on social media and everywhere that you know, you're know you trying to search for business information on how to gain more followers, convert your leads, is to niche down, like get down all the way down to the nitty gritty. Niche it. So what, why, and who? Who is this account going to serve? So what is my, what am I doing? Or what do I do? Why do I do it? And who is this for? It's so important when you are developing your bio. So remember, you have a very limited amount of characters in the Instagram bio. So it's so important to make sure that you tell what, why, who, super fast, quick, concise. Don't go on there. If you provide services to restore heirlooms, let's just say, you know, you don't go on and say the purveyors of lost sentiments. What the heck is that? No clue. You know, purveyors of lost sentiments, lost where? Purveyor of what? sentiment of who you've got to get down to the point say hey I help restore heirlooms so that you can keep them in your family longer period like that's it so make sure that you niche down your who who are you talking to who is this account for who is that specific audience that you want as your client so are you focused on young entrepreneurs are you focused on single moms is your
your niche female entrepreneurs because mine is mine is female entrepreneurs that are looking to create a personal brand by mastering their mindset making their mark and marketing it on social media and then following i give you my contact information that is number four you've got to include your contact information one of the ways that you can do it is you can add your email in there but because your instagram bio is so tight and limited to a few characters I prefer to make sure that you have the buttons accessible here that people can call you, people can email you, or find directions to your business if you have a brick and mortar store or brick and mortar business. So make sure that you set these in your settings, in your profile settings by going to edit and then profile uh, settings so that you can add these information in it. One of the things that it also adds your location. So if you're really trying to connect with more people in your area, this is so important. Make sure to add your location. For instance, I'm in Houston, Texas. If you can see here on my Instagram bio, and I'm showing you a screenshot of my audience. If you notice, my audience is predominantly in Houston, Texas, and that's where I want to make sure I'm creating the greatest impact. Yes, I know most of you are saying, yeah, but I want to reach everybody all over the nation. Well, let's let's start small first. Start in your area, start in your hood, start in your small little city, and then continue to grow your account, your engagement, your influence. Then you can start branching out. But at the moment, I am so hyper-focused with building a following that is literally just here in Houston, Texas. So that's very very important get people to know exactly your contact info and your location and then number five the fifth step is lead magnet you've got to have a lead magnet there's so many times that i've gone to influencers and big bloggers and they have a like to know it link or they have a link of the houston chronicle article that was released that mentions them so here's the problem with this, is that if you're trying to convert people, if you're trying to build an audience, if you're trying to try to convert that audience into buyers, then you can't, like they can't buy anything from you if you're sending them to the Houston Chronicle. And you can't have them buy anything from you or follow you on other platforms if there's nowhere for them to continue to connect and continue to build a relationship with you. It's so important to build a link that allows them to get more of you. It's so important also to create a, a lead magnet that attracts them and you can capture their email so that now they become a captive audience and you can continue to talk to them and nurture that audience through emails or by sending them information about you, even if you may not send a weekly email. But if you let them know that they'll be getting a monthly email with updates about you and your brand and your business and special offers, then that is all you need to continue to nurture your audience. Make sure that in the link, if you're looking at mine here, I, you're able to see that when my, you go to my link, it goes directly to my site. It is not a link tree link. And the reason why is because here's the problem. I'm sending traffic to Linktree. Linktree is getting all of this traffic and I'm not. So now I'm getting a secondary traffic. Why not capture primary traffic by sending them directly to my website and getting them to look at my website. There's a, a subscribe email list. There's also all these buttons that they can choose from. They can go to my YouTube channel. They can go to whatever I'm promoting or a free download, a free download that they can get and receive an article, um, a PDF file, a checklist, whatever it is, they're able to download this by clicking on the block. Then it takes them to the landing page. They're able to put in their email and then I capture that information, continue to nurture my relationship with them offline and they get the freebie. Super simple, super easy. So basically the lead magnet is so important so you can capture you, your audience and continue to grow and develop your relationship with them offline or on other social media platforms. Let me know which one of these five steps that 
make sense to you? Also, write down in the comments below. Let me know if this video is actually helping you to grow your account or if you honestly didn't even know that this was so important in creating an Instagram bio with these five steps. So remember, make sure to always tell people exactly what you do, why you do it, who you do it for, make sure that they can contact you and make sure that you can capture them through a lead magnet. All right, everyone, como siempre, mi gente, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I bring you weekly videos every single Thursday on developing a personal brand by mastering your mindset, making your mark, and marketing on social media. Y como siempre, mi gente, besitos a todos. Nos vemos la próxima semana.